This short tutorial will show you how to build a Markov model in Triage Pro. Start by examining the example model Markov Cancer Decision found in the Files view. The main elements of this model are the decision node with two strategies for comparison via cost effectiveness analysis. Each strategy is a Markov node which starts a Markov model. The Markov node has three branches representing the Markov health states. The branches to the right of the health states represent patient pathways. The probabilities beneath each branch control patient flow through the model. Every pathway set ends with a terminal node which returns patients to the health states for the next cycle. Any health state or event can have an associated cost or utility value. This model will perform cost effectiveness analysis based on the tree preference settings. We will build the Markov model for treatment one strategy. The Markov model has a termination condition to stop the model after 20 cycles. You can change this in the Markov info view. Double click on the Markov node to add branches which represent the health states. Enter descriptive label for each health state. Below each health state we will also enter the initial probability defining where the cohort will start in the model. Add events to the right of each health state to represent patient pathways. For the local cancer state, there are three patient pathways. Staying here, progressing to metastases, or die. We label the pathways appropriately. Your model may have more complicated patient pathways. The branches from each no chance node require probabilities based on the disease progression. We enter these as variables. You can see those in the variable properties view down here. Use the appropriate probability that you've defined at the root node in the correct places in the model. Here we've got the progress from local cancer to metastases. Each patient pathway ends a cycle and patients picking that pathway must return to one health state to start the next cycle. When you terminate each pathway with a terminal node, choose a state for the start of the next cycle. The model now follows disease progression, but we still need to add cost and utility data. We do this via the Markov Info view. Accumulate cost and utility at any health state or event node. Just select the node and enter the appropriate values in the Markov Info view. You start with local cancer here and we add the cost for local cancer. And now we can review a model where all the costs and effectiveness values are added. We have just added costs associated with the health states, but adding costs associated with events you could do in the same way by using the Markov info view. The finished model shows treatment two, which is a clone copy of treatment one. Cloning places a synchronized copy of a section of the model elsewhere in the model. Cloning is not covered in this tutorial. Finally, we can run the Markov cohort report to see the detailed calculations which are undertaken in your model. More details can be found about that in the Analyze Markov Model tutorial, which you can watch next. To get more detailed step-by-step -step instructions to build a Markov model, you can use the assistance. The assistance will walk you through step-by-step -step what you need to do to build a Markov model.